Hi guys, it's Mike Zero India Q Oscar with you again and my Ham Radio Go channel. Let's have a look at what's inside the box of a Yezo 818ND. Uh, I've got a little booklet from Amessi and Pawani coaxial cables. But that's not the important bit. The important bit here is the radio itself. Comes in a nice compact box. So let's have a look. This is the first time I opened this radio. I just received it. Okay, so let's see. Hope you can see everything here. Ooh, that's a good one. Got the big map. That's nice radio map. The world radio map. Nice one. I've got another one from my FT991A, so I'm just gonna keep this uh, somewhere safe because I have no space in my shack at the moment to fit them. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep it aside now. So we've got the operating manual here, which uh, I used to have a, a FT817ND, uh, so I'm uh, quite uh, familiar with uh, the radio and how it would work. looks absolutely the same as 817 nothing special good design well known for years from amateur radio operators let's do this my favorite part What we have is the antenna with the two components, an extension for for 50 megahertz as well. So it's like a triple band antenna. If I'm not wrong. We've got the shoulder strap here, of course, Yezu branded. I'll fit later. Do we have something at the bottom? No. That's the charger, battery charger plug. And we've got some ferret cores here, which is good. Comes with the radio. That's the battery pack, actually. That's the original Nikko metal hybrid battery pack. That's my guinea pigs you can hear at the back. They do this every time they hear a rub. And a nylon backs. So, excuse me about that. That's the battery itself. Some instruction. It's SBR32MH Nikko metal hybrid battery. 1900 milliamp hours, 9.6 volts, and some instructions on Japanese rechargeable battery pack. I'll feed the battery later on. And I'll probably use these ladder batteries from IKEA, but this will be uh, for another video where we can experiment with these. The original MH31 microphone, hand microphone here in a box. with RJ45 plug, which is good. So you can have an extension if you want to use it. Nice one. And this is, this is a power cable for external power. If you want to use with the fuses as 
well and that's the, the charger itself for the battery pack for the built-in battery pack which this is with European plug I'm just going to replace it with the uh, UK with a British plug and that's it I think that's it that's what you see in the box have a look yeah looks empty nothing at the bottom so this is it right guys it's time to put the battery inside the radio and power it up for a first time I'm surprised they're using plastic here as a cover. I was expecting to see metal cover. Got battery protection here. Let's replace this double A battery holder. bit tight here but that's it that's the original AA battery holder and some people uh, replace the AA batteries with uh, rechargeable batteries and not using the alkaline batteries which I'll show you in a, another video so please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss this you can uh, use that trick for FT817 uh, and uh, 818 as well so for the moment I will uh, I will be using the original battery pack uh, and will uh, give you some reports of how it is, uh, is going and how long it will keep the radio powered up. It's a brand new battery pack so I'm expecting to see at least two hours maybe, realistically, up to three hours of operation. But we'll see, time will show. out let's bring the battery back in as you can see it is a really really tiny so just be careful when you plug it in and that's it so let's sit the battery in the battery compartment here right i think that should do it That should be it. Okay, let's power up the radio for the first time. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Mike Zero in the Kiwosker, your host here. Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos.